Welcome back to the Wednesday Night War, where we take NXT and go head-to-head with AEW. See who comes out the winner. And uh, we have a pretty big show tonight, because it is War Games 2, our first pay-per-view. And um, what we're going to have to do is actually uh, look at... AEW's last pay-per-view that they sprung up on us a surprise and see how we do. So if we go into here real quick and take a look, take a gander at AEW, we should find that they had a show called New Destiny. Um, and we should be able to see the results here. So they had a C-58 um, and where Dustin Rose defeated Sean Spears in the main event. Um, so we have a bit of an advantage in that uh, uh, we're kind of comparing it to their pay-per-view show. Um, so we know what they did already um, because they did not book at the same time as we did. So um, comparison, we're going to be looking at how our pay-per-view stacks out against them. Now, 54 C- minus is not super high, but it could be difficult to uh to actually uh defeat it depends on how uh we book it so we have to be smart but we do know some of our storylines we know we have a war games of match um we know we have some some shaner baszler stuff and we know we have some other um, issues going on with uh uh bray wyatt versus uh finn who finn hasn't been out for a couple day for a couple weeks um we know we have a Dalton Castle and Velveteen Dream, so we kind of have some some ideas of where we're going to go. Um, we're kind of just going to be fulfilling some of those storylines, and hopefully uh, the show ends up being pretty good. Um, so no no hiring, no firing, nothing special going on. Let's go ahead and just get right to the show. Thankfully, no backstage issues whatsoever, which is always good for us. Uh, Marty Scroll is in the bank, but we're waiting for his contract to expire, and we do have Sasha out here, so uh, uh, we're, we're just waiting on a couple people, waiting on Marty, we're waiting on Tomasa, um, and hopefully we can get some of them in. Now, uh, I mean, it doesn't really matter for us here that much. Um, I just just pick something random here. Uh hmm. Why not? No effect. Okay. We are going to be booking it at the NXT Full Sail Arena, which um ooh, we might not want to because we're actually gonna be expecting seven thousand fans. Um I wonder if I could see where Survivor Series is. Because that's going to be at the same night or the week before. That's fine. So we'll just um, we'll pick something that'll fit. Let's pick Best Venue. Funding Center, 8,000. Yeah, that looks good to me. It's in Lakeland, Florida. Should be okay. And we are going to be broadcasting. Huh. That's weird. Uh oh. Wonder if we didn't set our broadcasting. Well, I don't know if I can fix that now. Uh oh. Yep. So, a bit of a problem there. Um, we're not going to broadcast this anywhere. Uh, that's really unfortunate. I don't think there's an easy way to fix that. Um, So I don't think I can set anything. I guess we don't have it set for broadcasting events, it's just a TV show. Something I kind of overlooked there. All right, so we'll, we, we're going to run it like normal. 
not a big deal. We just won't use our, uh, obviously we won't have a view count. So we're just going to have to look at um, the quality of show, I suppose. And we'll have to definitely make sure to fix that before our next takeover. Um, that's a real bummer um, uh, oversight on my part. I can't really fix, but no big deal. We'll, we'll press on without it. All right, let's go ahead and book war games. All right, guys, we are here. 162 minutes, a little bit lighter than our maximum allotment. Um, but I think we have a pretty good show. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a look at what we got. Could have done some pre-show stuff, but I think um, I don't want to burn the crowd out. So we started off with a three-way for the North American title. Uh, Xavier Woods, um, having slowly been turning heel, um, has interjected himself into this match and uh, is fighting against Keith Lee and Roderick Strong, which is kind of an unfair uh, triple threat. Um, but ultimately, Roderick Strong actually retains after defeating Keith Lee and Xavier Woods. Uh, Roderick Strong defeats Keith Lee by pinfall, makes defense number one of his title um, since the match started. Xavier, head and shoulders above everybody else, got the show off to a great start, which is what we wanted. Um, yeah, I mean, I can't complain about that at all. Afterwards, we have Xavier Woods mad that he uh, has lost the match, attacks and, and beats up Keith Lee, um, got the crowd hotter, Xavier looked great, um, we advanced his storyline, not much to say other than that's, that's fantastic. And then afterwards, uh, as he's walking away, uh, yelling at the crowd, Keith Lee slowly rises up um, from behind him, uh, rebounds, and then smashes Woods through a barricade. Um, gains heat for the story, got the crowd hotter. This looked great. Keith Lee looked great out there. Xavier did an awesome job selling it. Um, and we build up a momentum to a new storyline between the two as we continue Xavier's uh, decline into madness and heel, uh, heelishness. We have an intro uh, with Dalton Castle um, having an elaborate entrance, um, coming in with Boy 1 and 2. It doesn't do great, but it does fine. Um, and, uh, of course, we have a match between Dream and Castle. Uh, the match isn't fantastic, um, but Dream actually defeats Castle um, using some inverted momentum after having lost a bunch of times by Castle. Um, it actually cheats a little bit and uses a foreign object to get the win, um, thus making it not a clean finish um, because the two of them aren't done. Leads into the women's championship match between Sasha Banks and Shayna Baszler. Um, subpar wrestling. They're both about even. Got the crowd um, buzzing, but they don't click at all, which is unfortunate. Um, and uh, we have Sasha defeating Baszler finally in 14 minutes um, and winning the championship. Which leads to her celebrating her win and a full welcome back to NXT um, as uh, the boss is now fully back. Um, having taken the the gold back um, that she had held many years ago. Uh, does great, 66C+, plus, looking fantastic. Not as well, but uh, Kathy Kelly comes out to announce the beginning of the War Games match um, and explains the rules to the arena of how the match works. And finally, we have the match. Actually, does pretty okay. Um didn't have much heat, though. Uh, the, the Revival actually defeats the Undisputed Era and the Street Pof Profits in a War Games match in 17 minutes. Uh, it's not bad. Dash and Dawson were great out there. Got the crowd buzzing. Um, I mean, can't really complain about it all around. It was per C minus is pretty solid for what we're looking for. Uh, we have the co-main event, Adam Cole versus Johnny Gargano for the NXT Championship, which we really under developed uh, storyline-wise. I mean, I kind of realized after the fact that we really didn't have much uh, for Adam Cole to do, which is unfortunate. Something we'll have to look at um, going into the next pay-per-view cycle. I mean, we were kind of cut near the end of the pay-per-view cycle, to my defense, but um, I definitely uh, did not have all the story feelers out that I would want to. Uh, but Gargano loses. Uh, Adam Cole retains, um, and we have uh, a interesting diversion where uh, evil Candice LeRae, now working for The Fiend, distracts Gargano um, that ends up letting Cole get his finisher in and win. Makes defense number one. They both do pretty good. Gargano's a little bit of the weaker link of the two. Um, it's okay. The match is okay. 
I can't complain about it. We have a great elaborate entrance where Demon Finn Balor makes his uh, appearance uh, going towards the main event with between him and The Fiend. And of course, Bray also has a very elaborate smoke-filled entrance um, as he makes his way to the ring. Um, Demon versus Fiend both fighting. And uh, we end the show with a pretty solid B plus, or just a solid B, exceptional match. Finn defeats Finn 19 minutes with a sister Abigail. Uh, Bray looked blown out. Uh, Bray had a 72, Finn had an 87, um, and takes the loss though. And then we advance and gain heat with a story though. Uh, Finn that was Finn's technically his last match of the talent trade. So if we want to do more with him, we can have to uh, go ahead and re-sign him back up, which we may very well do. B, minus 73. Show actually went off great. Um, no, Not surprising, considering that main event, um, despite some stumbles early on. So we did fantastic. That That's great. I couldn't ask for much better. Um, we will praise some people. There we go. Everyone did great. Oh, actually, a little bit of a surprise there. We actually have another pay-per-view we have to match because they actually had full gear last night. So we screwed up our broadcasting. So uh, I guess we'll just take a hit on that. Somehow we forgot to... Forgot to book it. I'll take a look at that off air. Uh, 73 B minus, though. Let's see what uh, full gear looked like. Oh, no. Ah, they won. So what do they have happening over there? Janela defeats Cassidy. Angel Ortiz defeats Jungle Boy. Luchasaurus defeats Keep Sabrin, uh, Sabian. Riho defeats B. Presley. Adam Page defeats Jimmy Havoc. Uh... Chima gets defeated by Ray Phoenix. SCU defeated Angelico and Chris Evans for the World Tag Titles. Britt Baker defeated Penelope Ford to retain the Women's World Title. Cody defeated Pac. And, and Chris Jericho defeated Chris Beretta. Chris Beretta, wow, I can't read today. Trent Beretta to retain the World Title. Um, and they they won. 75 B- minus compared to... A 73 B minus. It just barely beat us. That makes me take a big hit. Oh, look at that. That's not good. And that also means we're going to have to, well, we're going to have to add an extra to the meddler. So let's add one more. That's not good. I really thought we had that in the bag. Doesn't help that we forgot to, uh, Put a broadcaster on so no one saw the show, except for the people that paid money in the seats. That's really bad. All right, let's meddle. Let's see what we got. Jeez. All right. We're going to spin another wheel. See what happens next week. Oh, it's such good shit. According to Vince McMahon, what is our problem? It's probably your fan favorite's fault. Bury somebody. So... I have to now bury a fan favorite wrestler on NXT because it's clearly their fault that we lost last night. So, homework for you all. Pick your wrestler of choice. I will pick the one with the most upvotes and we will bury, 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 bury him. Will, will it be Velveteen Dream? Maybe it's Adam Cole or Johnny Gargano. It could be anybody. Whoever gets the most upvotes, whoever wants me to suffer the most, um... <laughs> We will pick that person, and that will be the person we bury next week and probably the following weeks um, because, according to Vince McMahon, that guy just doesn't have it, and that's why we lost. But what a bummer because I thought that was a great show. 
but we have a rebound. We'll have to fix that scheduling issue, which we will. I'll do that off camera. Not a huge deal. We have NXT live in three days to deal with. But that is it for me today. Thank you guys for joining me for the Wednesday Night War. I'll see you next time.